Hello everybody, you are welcome to this channel. I am Atanu Vital and in this video lecture, we discuss about the reason for the branch chain isomers uh, have lower boiling point than state chain isomer. Okay, so this question uh, is very important that why branch chain isomer have lower boiling point than the state chain isomers. So we discuss about the reason for this uh, uh, lower boiling point of the branch chain isomer in this discussion. So before starting the discussion, uh, I would like to say that if you are new to this channel or do not subscribe this channel, then you can subscribe this channel now. Uh, let's start our discussion about the branch chain isomer. Look at this uh, pentane molecule. This is a straight chain isomer. Okay, no branch is present in this. Uh, this is a straight chain. Uh, you can you can write CH2 here and CH3. So this one is a straight chain molecule. This one is uh, similarly. This one is a branch chain molecule. One branch is present with the main carbon chain. One branch is present and here two branches uh, are present with the main carbon chain this one is main chain okay so with increase in branching of the organic compounds uh, the boiling point of the branch chain isomers these are called isomers because they have the common molecular formula their molecular formula is same okay so all are pentane but these are branch pentane means two branch uh, pentane with two branches this one is these are called the structural isomers okay these are called the structural isomers and chain isomers uh, in structural isomer these are forming a chain isomers uh, these are chain isomers chain isomers because chain length changes and uh, branch is uh, forming so it has no branch it has one branch and it has two branches okay so it has two branches it has uh, one branch and it has no no branches no branch so with the increase of the number of branch uh, what happens this molecule is becoming sp spherical okay more sp spherical nature of the molecule takes place okay actually to discuss about the boiling point of uh, alkane uh, we have to consider the uh, means uh, intermolecular forces what are the intermolecular forces that are present in alkene alkene alkenes form uh, by co covalent bonding these are called covalent bonding and one alkene molecule another alkene molecule is attracted by uh, very weak weak uh, van der short, not very weak weak and very short range van der Waal force of attraction okay alkene molecules are attracted by very uh, short range and weak van der Waal force of attraction okay uh, so the boiling point for the boiling of the alkane what we need for the boiling of alkane uh, we have to overcome the forces of uh, intermolecular forces present between the uh, alkenes or between the alkane alkane molecules the forces present uh, we have to overcome this force uh, in order to boil the substance and boiling point depends on the size of the size of the uh, molecule boiling point depended on the size of the molecule here look at the size of the molecule this molecule have maximum size compared to this molecule because uh, with increase in number of branching the molecule is becoming a sphere this molecule is uh, more sp spherical molecule compared to this molecule and this molecule so with increase of the spherical nature of the molecule the surface area decreases surface area of this molecule compared to these two molecule is the minimum surface area because you know sphere has the minimum surface area so it has the uh, uh, lesser surface area uh, than these two molecule so when surface area decreases the size of molecule uh, decrease and size of molecule decrease means its 
uh, intermolecular force also decrease so it uh, in this case the intermolecular force is uh, minimum okay because of the uh, spherical uh, spherical nature of the molecule intermolecular force decreases here so in this case a lower temperature is required to overcome the intermolecular forces the intermolecular forces can be overcome uh, using a lower temperature so this can boil first uh, compared to these two compounds here the straight chain and uh, one branch compound here not like this type of spherical shape uh, is forming here so for this reason uh, in the case of the neopentane the boiling point look at the boiling point is 282.5 kelvin and in case of isopentane the boiling point is uh, 301 and uh, in the case of the neopentane sorry only pentane simple pentane the boiling point is uh, uh, 309 kelvin so boiling point decreases in this order because uh, in this order the spherical nature of the molecule increases and when spherically um, uh, spherical shape is uh, formed that time what happens is surface area decrease and with the surface area decrease size of the molecule decrease and with the size of the molecule decrease the intermolecular force uh, uh, decreases so as a result uh, means compound can boils at lower temperature yet lower temperature can uh, overcome the intermolecular force of attractions so for this reason this neopentane has the lowest boiling point means this is the branch chain isomer branch chain isomer have lower boiling point compared to the straight chain isomers so this is the point of discussion in this video lecture thank you for watching this video lecture and if you want to uh, watch uh, watch uh, other videos uh, regarding this organic chemistry or inorganic or physical chemistry then you can uh, see the playlist that i made for this channel and from there you can easily uh, watch the uh, different kinds of videos respective chapter wise so uh, that's it uh, if you find this cha channel is useful to you then you can subscribe this channel and if you find this video is useful for you or you uh, find something important point from this video then you can like this video